guys it's Michelle and I'm just gonna get right into it as you can see from the title of the video yes I have severe sleep apnea I'm gonna show you what I have and then I'm gonna set it up and go to bed I will tell you guys more tomorrow about my symptoms and me getting checked and all that good stuff but I'm exhausted I'm really tired I had a long day it's only 9 30 but i'm really tired and i need to wind down and get this going so i can get a good night's sleep and start feeling better using this machine so let me just show you guys what i have so it is a loner it's on a trial basis for five days from kaiser that's just the way they do things and this is the machine right here and I'll just plug it in right there and then the connector hose which is right here I'll put in there and then of course the power cord and like I said the hose and then the face mask so you guys I asked for a face mask that only goes over the nose and when she brought it out to the car it was the one for the full you know nose and mouth which is no big deal I will just when I actually get my own machine then I will get one um, that has the just for the nose but until then I'll just use this and this goes on here so this one does not use distilled water and I'll explain all that later in case you don't know but like I said I just wanted to open up this video and show you guys what I have I'm gonna be completely transparent with you guys about this and like I said I'll explain more tomorrow about my symptoms and me discovering that I had it and stuff like that okay all right so this is what I'm going to be looking like at night until I get the one that goes only on the nose. So, then yeah, this goes on here and I'll just hook everything up and go to bed, you guys. I'm really tired. I hope you guys can hear me because I know I sound muffled. So I just wanted to show this, what they gave me to document my five days with the loaner machine. And I wanted to show you guys before I put my personal information on it. So you put the date, the time that you started the machine and then what time that you went off of it and then how you felt each day how you slept and then at the bottom it's just um, once you're done if you would like them to order you a CPAP machine which some people choose to have surgery or a dental device which I am not choosing either one of those so I will tell them yes and then which mask you prefer so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this that I will be filling out. Okay, so it's the next day and I know I kind of like rushed through everything that I was telling you guys last night, but I was exhausted, you guys. I was at a point where I knew if I didn't get that mask on and turn it on, I was just going to fall asleep without using it and I didn't want to do that. So I don't know how long I've had this, but I know apparently it's been getting worse and worse. That's the reason why I decided to get excuse me, get myself checked out. I've had excessive like sleepiness. I was tired all the time during the day, even after getting a full eight or even nine hours sleep, I would still be sleepy during the day. I had no energy and my snoring got worse and I never used to snore until I had kids. And then I would only snore when I was tired and I guess this gradually just got worse. And I would always have a restless sleep. I would always be up or something would wake me up and I didn't know what. So the reason why I got checked is because there was a day that I had gotten a full night's sleep and usually people who find out they have sleep apnea find out from their partners. There was a day that I had had a full about eight or nine hours and it was on a Friday night. Woke up on Saturday and it was like after I had my coffee and breakfast, I was out again like sleeping and I was periodically sleeping throughout the day and my oldest daughter Cheyenne she was like mom and she said it kind of like not sarcastically but jokingly but she said it with concern and she was like you've been sleeping all day long you probably should get that checked out and the way she said it 
I don't know, it just did something to me. And I'm like, you know what? I started thinking about all these instances and, you know, my snoring and just things like that. And I'm like, I wonder if I should get checked for sleep apnea. And so then I started Googling all of the signs. And I'm like, I have most all of them that I can think of. I mean, I don't have like high blood pressure or anything like that that they were saying that can come along with it or, you know, health problems as far as that. Yes, I'm on the heavy side, but when I was heavier, I know I've gained weight since I first started blogging and I am working on that, but I was heavier than I am now, years ago. So I didn't have it then. You would think that I would have had it when I was heavier. So I don't know. So anyway, long story short about that, I went to get checked at the doctor, did the at home sleep test called me within a couple of days and said, yeah, you have severe sleep apnea, so here I am. And they give you the machine for five nights as a loner first. I have insurance through Kaiser, which is a hospital here in my area. And and I guess they do it like that on a loan because some people decide to either have surgery, they explained it, but I kind of like let it go in one ear and out the other because I'm like, I'm not doing surgery. Some people choose a dental device, which Yes, I've heard of, and you would think it would probably be easier, but me being in a dental field, I know how the long-term effects of that would be, and it holds your mouth open to stop you from snoring. That way, everything is open, but you'll drool a lot, and your mouth is pretty much propped open the whole time, and the way they have your mouth propped open Eventually, later on down the line, I don't want to get TMJ, and then my teeth can shift, and and it's not that I'm vain and like, or oh, whatever, but I just don't want that way, so to me, the machine is the easiest route, so it's on loan for five days just to see if I want to go that route, and even though last night, it was uncomfortable because it's something bulky, I didn't feel claustrophobic, so... You know, I was okay with that part, but it took me longer to go to sleep. It felt like, I felt clumsy with it, like this big bulky thing. And it, it was just not annoying, but of course something that you have to get used to. And I would lay on one side and it would break the suction or whatever, the seal, and I have to reposition it because I think I told you guys that I asked for one that goes on only on my nose. And for some reason she gave me one for the full, you know, face not full of full face but for the nose and the mouth and by the time I realized it I was at home so I'm sure I can probably I could have probably went pick up one today but it's okay when I tried it on and put it on for a little bit I was like okay I'm not claustrophobic I'm not you know panicking or anything like that I was actually okay and you guys last night I slept through the night I got up one time to go to the bathroom this is the first time I remember, I don't know how long it's been, like like I said, I don't know how long I have had sleep apnea or even severe sleep apnea, but I don't remember the last time I didn't wake up multiple times, not to go to the bathroom, but just wake up multiple times and just be startled out of my sleep and don't know why. And I don't know why I never thought to get checked before. I don't know. So I woke up one time last night to go to the bathroom and then I woke up, my body has a natural whatever, like right before my alarm clock goes off, I'll wake up. And you would think I wouldn't have to set an alarm, but I still do. But I woke up maybe around 5.30, 5.20, 30, something like that. And my alarm goes off at 5.45 when I work from home and I work from home today. So yeah, I woke up. It's weird. I woke, I woke up feeling rested, but kind of groggy. And I did talk to the doctor today because I had a few questions about the machine and stuff like that, even though, you know, they answered everything before I took it home. And they said that because my body is not used to having a full eight hours or a restful sleep, when I get it, it's still like my body has to catch up. So... Yeah, I felt kind of groggy, and maybe groggy is not the right word. I still felt tired when I woke up, but rested, if that makes any kind of sense. So, 
yeah so night one done and so tonight we'll do it again and yeah i'm just concerned that after the five days when i have to give the loner back then what if my body's used to it and i'm getting good sleep and then i have to wait till mine comes in it's like no can i have it until i get one so i don't know yeah yeah you guys and the good thing about it is my insurance covers a huge portion of it i'm so thankful because i did my research and these machines cost anywhere from 250 to a thousand dollars and if my insurance did not cover any of it yeah so i'm thankful for that but yeah i just wanted to give you guys an update and i don't know how long this video is going to be i don't know if i will vlog every night and then give you guys updates like that and then wait till i get my one in my one that i'm going to have permanently and then give you guys an update on that but yeah so night one done feel okay i'm a little tired today but i don't think i've been at i haven't been really sleepy today but i kind of been busy keeping myself busy because i've been doing dishes on my break or whatever so yeah we'll see i'll let you guys know hi guys so that last clip was about mm, almost two months ago maybe six weeks um give or take and I had to go back and watch it because so I can remember what I was telling you guys. But anyway, I know I rushed through everything in that video. But at that point, I knew I had to hurry up and put the CPAP machine on because I was exhausted and tired. And I knew I was going to fall asleep without it. So, yeah, I did it. I did the trial for five days. And instead of me showing you guys or telling you guys how I felt every single day, I decided to combine it with one video. So, first, let me go back a little bit. So, if you don't know what sleep apnea is, you can look up. There's many videos and articles on sleep apnea that can go into detail and all the ins and outs about it. But basically, what it is in a short version, you stop breathing and then your brain gets a signal hey, you're not breathing, and you wake up and when you have these apneas and or these events sometimes you don't know you're waking up and it causes you not to get very good sleep which that's what's happening to me and I start thinking about it and I'm like at what point was it mild at what point was it moderate you know how did it get so severe and I think for me when I found out that I had it or when I started suspect suspecting that I had it I started thinking back and I'm like, I normalized everything. Like one of the signs is I will wake up with headaches like almost every day or every other day or something like that. And I would blame it on, well, I didn't have coffee for the last two days or whatever. It's just a caffeine headache, it'll go away. And I would be so sleepy and tired throughout the day. And I would think, well, I'm a night owl. So, you know, that's the reason why. Because I'm not getting enough sleep because, you know, I stay up too late. And y'all, sometimes I would wake up coughing and gasping for air. And I even remember sometimes like sitting up in bed, you know, straight up, like bolted right out my sleep because I'm, you know, gasping or whatever. And... At that moment when that happened, I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, well, maybe I had spicy food because it literally felt like it was heartburn or something like that. So to me, I always has it, had an excuse as to what it was because, you know, I'm trying to make sense of little things. And plus, it, it wasn't clicking. It wasn't clicking at all. So what made me go get checked is because my oldest daughter i specifically remember this day so the night before i'd slept a full like eight or nine hours it was friday saturday morning i woke up had breakfast had my coffee and all that good stuff right and i sat in my chair and within 20 30 minutes i was asleep and i was sleeping all throughout the day snoring loud oh that's another thing i started snoring a lot you know more since you know i've had it and so Cheyenne, she said to me, and she said it jokingly, but she had concern in her voice, which concerned me. And she said, Mom, you've been sleeping all day. You slept all last night. Are you sick? I'm like, no, I'm not sick. I feel fine. And she said, you might want to get that checked out. And just the, just the way she said it, the concern in her voice concerned me because she was worried, you know. So I started thinking, I'm like, 
what could be wrong or whatever. So I say that it was God that brought to my mind to get checked for sleep apnea. So I started researching all the signs and symptoms and I'm like, I had that, I had that. That's what happened to me. And then the light bulb went on in my head and I'm like, y'all, I have sleep apnea. And if sleep apnea is left undetected or untreated, it could lead to a strain on my heart. It could put me at high risk of heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and then of course premature death, which I don't want, you know, and heart disease, stroke, and diabetes run, not stroke, but yeah, run in my family. So yeah, I need to get it together. And plus, you know, being plus size, you know, has something to do with it. And so I did the five day trial with the machine that Kaiser gave me. And that first morning I woke up and I felt groggy, very groggy, but rested if that makes any sense at all. And as the days went by, each day I felt a little bit normal and a little, little bit more like myself, which I didn't know that I needed this. It, it's one of those things that you don't know what you need until you know that you need it, if that makes any sense. And it's like, oh my goodness, this is what I used to feel like before, you know? In my report when I did the at home tests when they tested me for sleep apnea i was having i think 34 events per hour half an hour hour something like that which means i was stopped breathing 34 times within the hour or 30 or within a half an hour something like that that's not good at all so the five days went and I did not want to return the machine. I knew I had to, it was a loner. There's different ways to treat sleep apnea and for some people the machine may not be the best option even though it's the most treatable way to treat sleep apnea with, with the machine. So I returned the machine and they told me, they said that the therapy was definitely working for me and then that next day, they put in an order for me to have a CPAP machine. And so I got all excited and they were like four to six weeks. I'm like, okay, great. Is there a loaner machine that I can use from you guys until I get the machine in? Because my fear was, okay, I'm using this machine and I see how I'm feeling great and starting to feel good again. And then after these five days, I'm gonna go back to where I was and then have to wait four to six weeks for my machine. And they were saying, no, I couldn't get a loaner machine because I guess in 20, I guess in the summer of 2021, Philips had a brand of CPAP machines, which if you didn't know, CPAP machine stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. Anyway, just thought I'd throw that in there. So Philips had a CPAP machine that was dangerous or whatever, causing problems. So they did a huge recall for thousands upon thousands of people for their CPAP machines, which caused those people to have to get machines from other companies. So there was a shortage for like months. And I guess some people were going eight months without their CPAP machine, which after you've had it, and then you know the good it brings to you when you use it, you know, I can only imagine. So I'm thinking, oh my goodness, it's gonna take forever for me to get another machine because they're on back orders. As soon as they make it, they have to give it to whoever was in line first, right? So Kaiser went through a company called Apria and Apria actually took maybe like, I would say around roughly seven weeks, seven or eight weeks, I think it was. I finally got my machine in the mail yesterday, not in the mail, but delivered yesterday. So I used it for the first time last night and I'm still working on settings. I called the respiratory therapist today because I felt it was kind of like too much pressure. I don't know, but they helped me with some settings. So hopefully tonight it'll be better. But today when I woke up, once again, I felt really tired, not really tired, but I felt tired but rested, like I said before, if that makes any sense. And the reason why I'm feeling this way, I was told that for so long, my body wasn't used to getting rest, a full night's sleep. So now that it is, it's still kind of tired and has to catch up. And on my machine in the mornings, it'll tell me how many events that I had, like how many times that I stopped breathing or whatever. So I looked this morning and it said that I pretty much had roughly around like one event each hour or something like that, which means that this CPAP machine is definitely working for me. And 
I will check back in with you guys in about two weeks, maybe a month, and let you guys know how I'm feeling and how everything's going, which I can tell you right now, it's gonna go great because today I feel energized. I don't feel like just sitting in my couch all day, the spot where I sit and doing nothing and watching TV and going to sleep because I don't have any energy to do anything. I'm actually, I have in, I have energy today, you guys, and it feels wonderful. You don't know what you need until you know you need it, if that makes any sense. And my body was literally fighting for its life at night before. So if you have any of the symptoms that I just explained to you, get checked because, you know, it can cause a lot of problems later on down the line. I'm glad I nipped it in the bud now. I wish I could have caught it before, but hey, whatever, I'm doing the right thing now. So yeah, and, and another thing that people think that it's only like something that heavier people get, which yes, heavier people can get it. However, I've seen people skinny as a rail, which I told you guys, my aunt, she was tiny, she was small, she had sleep apnea, and the doctor reassured me because I was like, oh my goodness, what did I do to myself? It's because I gained weight since COVID, and you know, that's the reason why I have sleep apnea because it's my fault, whatever, and she was letting me know that that's, you know, most people think that way, but it's not because it could have happened to me when I was younger, when I was when I was smaller. It's just something that happens and it can be hereditary. My mom has it. My mom is not a big woman. So, yeah. So I just wanted to show you guys how the machine came. This kind is the Air Sense 11. And everything came in this bag right here. And the power cord, the hose for the mask. Because I already got the mask like maybe four weeks ago. They sent that earlier. And then the machine was in here. And there's the humidifier was right here. I'll show you guys. So this is the humidifier, you guys. So what I do is I just fill it up with distilled water up to that line right there. And what it does, it, it softens the air. That way I won't get like a dry nose or a dry mouth or something like that. So, and I'm supposed to change this out every day. See, distilled water only. So this is the machine right here and I already put some water in it. Um, don't think you guys can see it right here because I don't want to tip it over. And then it's a touch screen and my options, sleep view, more. And I'm not gonna show you all the options or whatever you guys wanna know everything about this particular machine. There are a lot of videos on it on YouTube. So yeah, and then here's my, it comes with a six foot cord and it's pretty small, which is fine. And this is my nose piece right here, which I will show you guys on in a minute because it's different from the full mouth one. All right, y'all, so this is how I will look at night. And then when I get ready to go to sleep, I will just attach this nozzle piece on here like that. Turn on the machine, I'll do it now so you guys can. Okay, so it's weird talking when it's on because it's literally forcing air down my throat um, to keep me breathing. So I don't do this till I get ready to go to bed. So tonight will be night two of me um, having the machine. So yeah. Hi guys. So it's been about maybe three, almost four weeks since I've been using my machine. And I wanted to give you guys an update. I'm feeling great. Not 100% yet, like I used to feel before I knew I had this, but I'm feeling great. I got my machine and I struggled a little bit with the settings because the machine comes set to the prescription that the doctor feels you need. So I had to work out a few kinks and of course get used to this thing on my face, which let me say is better than the alternative. Not feeling great. Because let's be honest, untreated sleep apnea can kill you. You can die in your sleep. So if you suspect that you have it, please go get checked because it'll be worth it. But. On a positive note, right now, 
my head is more clear. I don't feel like I'm in such a fog like I used to on a daily. I feel more alert. I'm feeling more energized. My mood has improved. I feel less agitated. It's funny how a lack of sleep can make you feel all this way, but I'm less agitated with everything. More refreshed when I wake up. No more morning headaches, thank you Jesus. It's like overnight my quality of life improved and I feel like a new person. I'm not a morning person and I never have been, so I, I don't think that part of me will ever change. The only time I'm happy in the morning is if I'm getting up to go on vacation. But in the mornings now that I have my machine and I've been using it, I don't feel the the need to crawl back in bed and want to stay there all day and not want to get up at all. I'm not 100% completely what I know I used to feel, but I'm getting there. And I feel that this update now, instead of waiting a very long time, because I do feel the positive effects of my CPAP machine. And I only expect it to go up and up from here. Before I found out that I had sleep apnea, I was so run down and exhausted. And I thought that it's because, I think I told you guys that I stay, you know, up late at night or just, I don't know, things that I'm doing that's making it worse. But now I'm getting better, you guys. I feel that I'm definitely on the road to recovery. And I do have what they call um, true residual sleepiness because it's going to take time for my body to get over what I've been through. Who knows how long I've been sleep deprived. So even though I'm still sleepy throughout the day, it's nothing compared to what it used to be like. So I'll feel like taking a nap here or there during the day, but it's not as bad. It's not like before as to if I'm sitting too long, I'll start nodding off and wanting to go to sleep. I can tell it's getting better, but I do have residual sleepiness. But like I said, it's just going to take time for me to get better. But um, because I feel the positive effects of this, having the machine, and I'm not 100%, but the key to recovery is patience. Results may vary from person to person, but if you do have a CPAP machine, still struggling with feeling sleepy or tired, give it time, give it time because everybody's body is different and some people may respond sooner. I know I read articles and even my doctor told me that some people feel better after one night or one week of using it, which that was me. My first time using the loner machine, wow, y'all, I felt still tired, but I knew I felt better. So if you are on a CPAP machine, please just give it time because everyone's body is different and you may be one of the ones who needs two th or three weeks or a month or even longer to even start feeling the effects. Yeah. But I do know that this was the right choice for me and it is working. Some people decide to go with surgery, which surgery, they put something in your chest. And when you stop breathing, it sends like some kind of current to a nerve, which makes you breathe again or something like that. Probably explained it wrong, but that's pretty much and how it is. And I didn't want to have that surgery. I've had enough surgeries in my lifetime and I did not want to have that for me but that may be right for someone else or they may want the dental appliance which that would be the easiest to go with but I don't want to have my mouth propped open all night and it just comes with other problems having that mouthpiece in your mouth so yeah this was the right way for me and I'm enjoying the outcomes I feel that I'm almost to my normal self during the day I feel, like I said, more energized and I want to do more things instead of coming home from work and going to bed. And when I'm out and about running errands, I'm not trying to cut them short to come back home to go to bed. I have more energy. So yeah, guys, that is my journey of finding out I 
have severe sleep apnea to get in a loner machine to waiting forever until it came and I felt like my body was getting worse. But now that I have it, I am on the road to recovery and I feel great. I feel awesome. Maybe in six months, I'll do another video to let you guys know how I'm feeling. But as of now, as of right now, today, when I've had the machine almost a month, I can tell you that I'm on the road to recovery and this works for me. So there's different masks and I did show you guys at first I had the full face mask and then I went to the nose mask and then after I used the nose mask for a couple of nights, it kept forcing my mouth open so I was waking up with a dry mouth and tongue and everything just like completely dry and that's not good. So they said I can get a chin strap. I may look into that but I started using the full face mask again but there's also one that goes under the nose and on the mouth right here where it like just covers right here but also covers the mouth as well. So next time when I Get a new mask because you're only supposed to keep the same mask every three months and then you know your insurance will send you another one maybe i will try that one next but yeah y'all um if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and i will answer whatever you need to know as far as my experience and like i said my experience may not be the same as yours but i can just say this works give it a try hold on and yeah so you guys thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next one